Hey YouTube, this is Kerry Scrapping for a Dart. Um, just trying to uh, occupy my time some more, and uh, I went ahead and uh, wanted to do a little experiment. Um, we were talking uh, yesterday when I was doing some videos. I was telling you about some of these power supplies that I have. Um, I've got a lot of them. Um, this is just a few of them. Um, I wanted to do a quick experiment and see, you know, how much more money I could make if I pulled one apart versus leaving it whole. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and show you kind of. I just did a quick breakdown. Um, this, these two power supplies, that one there and this one here, were identical, same weight. Um, they weighed three pounds, four ounces each. Um, the first one, all I did was just cut the wire off and left the other unit um, completely whole. And then I wanted to see what the price difference would be if I took another one all the way apart, separated the screws and all the metal I could pull off my uh, low-grade board, and then I separated out the board. Um, if you remember, there's nobody in my area that buys low-grade board, so this is just wasted weight. So this is garbage. So I'm going to lose that weight. Um, here was just the wire that I would cut on this one here. You can see it's cut right there. On the one that's open, you know, there's a little bit more wire in there. So I got maybe another ounce or so of wire from this one here. And then uh, this is just the, the fan and then the transformers and the other windings and stuff that'll go as shred. And then the two heat sinks that were in this one are here. So I weighed everything out and I was really surprised um, by the result. Um, like I said, three pounds, four ounces for a complete unit. If you cut the wire off, um, it's eight ounces for that wire. Um, so in my area, I get a dollar a pound. So half a pound is 50 cents. So just this is 50 cents. And then the rest is weighed out at 20 cents a pound. So I had to do the math and break some things down into some ounces. But it comes out to 55 cents for the, for the main body. So if you add 55 cents plus the wire that was cut and was going to be sold separately, I get a dollar five total. What's what that power supply is worth? Okay. If I break it down, um, the wire is going to be the same. Basically, it's pretty close to a half a pound. Just a little shy of a few ounces, but I'm going to say half a pound. So the wire would be um, uh, fifty cents, and then the shred, um, the motor, and then the transformers. Do the math. Break down into ounces. Is only sixteen cents for that pile. Uh, the aluminum was only uh, 5 ounces, so breaking it down and doing the math is another 16 cents for the aluminum. Uh, the steel, I only get 4 cents a pound for. Um, there was 1 pound 8 ounces of steel. It only comes down to 6 cents for that, and I lost the board weight. Okay, So um, if you add everything up, um, including the wire being cut off, I only get 88 cents broke down. So I'm making more money by just cutting the wire and leaving the unit alone as a whole. So um, I'm not sure what your areas are going to be like and what your scrap yards are like, um, but you'll have to do this on your own and determine if it's worth your time to open these. Maybe you can make more. Um, the only way I can make more is if I had huge amounts of these power supplies that I wanted to spend the time. I might be able to get um, some yards pay you, like if you had more than 50 pounds of aluminum or whatever, you might get another five cents a pound or something. But even then, it's still not worth my time. So. Um, to me, this is a learning experience. I will no longer open these and break them down. It's just not worth my time. And obviously, I'm losing money by opening them up and selling the parts separately. So um, all I'm going to do is cut the wire and then sell the, the metal unit as a whole. Now, you might think, well, if I left the wire on there, they're paying 20 cents a pound. Well, that wire, you're only, instead of getting 50 cents for the wire, it's going to break down to where you're only going to get like 10 cents for that wire if you leave it attached because 20 cents a pound um, and that's a half pound of wire, you're only going to get 10 cents for that wire separated or attached if you leave it on there. So make sure you cut it off so you go from that 10 cents up to uh, uh, whatever your um, insulated wire is going for at your yard. So anyway, um, hope this makes sense to you. It's an important tip. Um, again, this is all my findings. Uh, you might find something different, but I uh, go ahead and uh, open up some of your power supplies and uh, give it a shot and see what you come up with. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. Hope this tip helped. Please like and subscribe. Take care.